There it is again. <laughs> well, welcome back everybody and or anybody. Christian with Make Time for Fishing here. Back out on Breach Inlet today. I just dug up a whole bunch of mud crabs, probably have about two dozen of them in the bucket, ranging in size from about a fiddler crab to a big, big mud crab that's close to a blue crab size. My goal today is to try and catch some big fish, specifically an over 30 inch redfish on an ultralight. My ultralight combo is a seven foot ultralight Daiwa Laguna with a size 1000 valley and eagle from cask king it's spooled up with 10 pound braid and i have a 20 pound leader on there to help with fraying this rod is like a noodle i've uh, done some sheep's head fishing with it before i've caught some good redfish on it. that's what i use for my ned rigs and stuff like that but i've never done it in this application and i've never caught anything probably over 25 inches on it so a 30 inch red is going to be a real test i don't even know if i have enough line on there i'm just going to see what happens uh, i do have my backup normal uh, dock fishing rod with me the 2500 series, but I'm gonna see what I can do here. Stay tuned, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out a lot. If you're new here, I post videos like this twice a week, but anyway, let's get to it. Wish me luck, I'm gonna need it. If I'm losing fish, like breaking them off, or I'm losing them from not getting a good hook set because the rod's too much of a noodle, I'll switch over to my other one eventually. And what I usually do when I'm dock fishing, if I have a second rod with me, is I break the rod in half, like, so separate the halves so I can keep it in the rod holder safe and not break it whenever I have to go under a dock, hopefully. <laughs> okay, just missed several big bites very quickly. Probably in like five minutes I missed three or four big bites. Last one I didn't even realize a fish had picked it up because it was just swimming with it. Crack him a little bit. There we go. <laughs> oh gosh. Come on, come this way. Yep. That was a big fish. <sighs> Dang it. Just retied and I put a very long leader on. Probably four and a half, five feet. 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Again, the braid's only 10 pound. So uh, yeah, if that hits anywhere, it's pretty much just game over. So let's try again. What I did that finally got me a bite was popping that open on that side, hooking it through the shell on the other side. All right, so that's the crab right there. We're just dragging along the bottom, just like so. And I got popped very hard. Because this guy's cracked open on one side, he's putting off a lot of scent. Oh, there it is again. Okay, I'm on. Again, this one I don't think is as big, but I'm gonna try to get out of here before I find out. He's just digging down right now. He hasn't really run. There he is, there, oh no. Come on, buddy, come out of there. Oh, it's a decent red. Definitely not a 30, but uh, a very good red on this tackle. Oh no, he's about to get me. He's about to get me. Okay, I gotta crank him out. I gotta crank him out. Oh no, he's gonna break me off in one second if he gets towards that piling like that. He's around the piling. Where are you? Okay, come back this way. Try not to pull too hard. He can definitely freely pull drag right now. Okay, there's the leader. So he's only about... Okay, let's pull him out. Nice. Okay, I have him out for now, but he's definitely not out of the woods yet. 
can still run straight back in there if he feels like it. <laughs> All right. First fish. Oh, I haven't landed him yet. He's in the current, so he can run. <laughs> oh, I missed him. Oh, man. There he goes. He woke up. That's not a bad fish at all. Took me long enough to get him. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Let's get a look at this first ultralight dockfish. All right, I bet he's probably 25, 26. I'm gonna measure him in just one second. Then I'll get him back and get back under there. I got plenty of crabs left. The bite has been slow so far. Oh, actually. That's a 27, and he's got this weird gill injury right here, so I'm trying to keep my hands away from there, but it's a beautiful fish on the ultralight. Let's uh, get him back and get another one, hopefully a bigger one. And believe it or not, I did get a good hook set. Those uh, Bel Air jigs are no joke. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I'd switch cameras. The, uh, I didn't bring enough GoPro batteries for my uh, head mount camera, so this is actually the camera I usually have on the uh, selfie mount, I'll call it. But yeah, so we'll uh, get back in here and see if we can find some uh, some more fish, pull some drag. Might have to uh, do one of these guys. I don't want to get <laughs> stuck under here somehow. The water's getting pretty high. There's not that much of a gap for me to sneak under anymore. Oh. Wow, talk about your instant bite. Oh my gosh, that was immediate. I need to get him back this way, I can't get through there. <laughs> that was so immediate, oh gosh. <sighs> Look at how I'm fighting this fish. Oh gosh, he can do whatever he wants, I really. I want to keep them on. I hate breaking fish off. Having already broken one off today, it's not something I want to do. Oh no. <laughs> See behind the far pole? I think he is. I will be so lucky if I can keep him in the middle here. Oh no way. Let's see him. I don't want him to freak out. Oh, oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, that's another good one. Man, he was fighting hard in that current. <laughs> oh. You're joking me. He broke the line right there. <sighs> he must have frayed it somehow. Or did my knot slip? My knot might have slipped, which really almost never happens to me. That's too bad. Sorry, buddy. All right, well, that was disappointing. I uh, tied on a new jig, um, gave myself a little bit of an extra tag end behind that knot in case it slips. I, I still don't exactly know what happened, but uh, I have a new small mud crab on there. Cut one side of it, took the legs off on the other side, and uh, we'll see if we can get lucky enough to get bit again. That was my third bite in probably 15 minutes or so. There it is. That didn't take long. <laughs> this one's bigger. Oh no. Oh no. He is so far back there. Oh no. Okay. Have him right here. Man, this is a heavy fish. Oh man. He's so far around the pole. Maybe I can get him out this way. Go 
Oh, he's out. No way. Okay. Please. Okay. I loosened the drag. He probably did a number on it. On the uh, line. I'm paddling this way. Gotta pull him out. Only, only leverage I have. Gotta use the kayak. Oh no. Oh man, he's so far back in there. This is a big fish. <sighs> Need him to come back. I think he is. If he doesn't come back, there's nothing I can do. Oh my gosh. I think I hooked a big fish. Okay. No, 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 he's gonna run again, don't. Ugh. Dang it. I never even saw him, but that was a, oh, I'm shaking. That was a, that was a serious fish. All right, I'm gonna switch over to my beefier setup here. Besides wanting to catch the fish, I hate, hate breaking them off. I'm using my more serious setup, five foot six, medium power Shimano Solara, 2500 Pen Conflict 2, and a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, 15 pound braid, better drag, stronger drag too. Oh man, that one hurt, especially after, I, I wouldn't have been nearly as hurt if I didn't survive the first few runs. But that fish, I think that was definitely my over 30 incher. Stay out here. There we go. Out here. That's what I'm talking about. That was a solid thump when he ate that. Let's loosen the drag a tiny bit. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. I didn't loosen it that much. Good thing I did, though. He's definitely in the current now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What did I... How big is this fish? He's not even, I don't think he was that big. I mean, it's a solid fish, but man, he was pulling hard. Okay, no, 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 no. Man, this fish is feeling good today. This is why, oh, nice. Wow, he's really heavy. Gosh. Oh. Whew. This is a beefy red. Oh man. He might be bigger than I gave him credit for. That's a serious red right there. Dang, my arms are shaking holding him up right now. Oh. Wow, he is strong. 33 to the tip of the tail. That's not pinched, that's just the tip of the tail. Wow. Let's let this guy go and uh, keep fishing because they are definitely still biting. Look at the size of his head. Oh, ow. This is one mean fish. Oh man, I was sending a text. I was sending a text. 
had the bait down. I guess I'll uh, hold off on that text for now. <laughs> Loosen up the drag a bit so I don't test any knots too much. It's another good fish. Gosh, I can't believe I tried to put my ultralight through this. I guess I did put the ultralight through this, but uh, unsuccessfully for the most part. <laughs> Gosh, this is so fun. Oh, I'm getting close to that dock pretty quickly. Oh, nice fish. Another good one. Yeah, go that way. Go away from the dock. Come on, let me get you up. This is a heavy fish, oh my gosh. Oh, I almost dropped my net twice. <laughs> Redfish are always strong, but this is another level. That is a giant red. Again, I have the tape measure handy, so I'll measure them, but I'm betting he's about 32. Go from the tip of the tail, 31. Awesome fish. Let's get him back quick. Okay, I'm getting off the water now. The bite totally shut off after that 31 incher. I stayed for about another 30, 45 minutes. AKA I stayed out here too long. That's all right. Overall, I have to say it was mission unsuccessful. I wanted to catch a 30 plus inch red on ultralight under the dock. Did not happen. I'm very sure at least one of the ones that broke me off was over 30 inches. The one I fought for what felt like ages, but it was probably a good four or five minutes. Anyway, I had fun. Uh, I did end up getting a couple of big reds when I switched over to the other tackle. I did successfully land one red and I did figure out I can hook them with the ultralight at least under the dock. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's lots of drag, that's for sure. I got a few good fish. Uh, the video, I guess, is a little over the place, but, but those mud crabs, those are some great bait and you don't have to buy them. You just dig them up, flip over some rocks. It's pretty easy to get them. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to make some time for fishing, and I'll see you next time. Have a good night.